Dear ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Battenberg Robotic Webinar. Today's webinar deals with robotic measuring of vehicle doors and tailgates. In our lecture, we will first briefly introduce our company Battenberg Robotic. Then we are going to show you which measurement tasks required for the quality testing of vehicle doors can be fulfilled with Battenberg measuring robots. We will explain the structure of the measuring robotic test cell and explain the basic procedure of the tests. Finally, let us go into details. Step by step, we will guide you through five typical measurement tasks in door testing and show you exemplary measurement results. Battenberg Robotic was founded in 1982 by engineer Mr. Gunther Battenberg in Marburg. Marburg is a university city in the middle of Germany in Europe. As a pioneering company, Battenberg engineers were the first to use robots for quality testing of vehicle interior parts and vehicle exterior parts, like doors and tailgates. Battenberg holds numerous patents worldwide for various robotic solutions that deal with the measurement of force versus distance characteristics of torque versus angle characteristics for quality testing. The robot tests for vehicle doors and tailgates presented here have also been patented worldwide by Battenberg. Vehicle seats, touch displays, steering wheels, gear shifters, hatches, consoles, cockpits, air vents, switches, buttons, levers. All these parts are tested with Battenberg measuring robots in the automotive industry worldwide. The test cell for vehicle door and tailgate testing has meanwhile been set up more than five times worldwide at the OEM factories and is used every day by quality testing engineers. Battenberg delivers worldwide with a focus on Europe, North America and China. What are the typical measurement tasks when testing vehicle doors and tailgates? The Unlocking force of the vehicle door is important in the perception of the vehicle quality. Battenberg has developed special tools that can operate door handles in order to open the door. During the opening process, the force, displacement curve, is measured. The so-called force versus opening angle characteristics curve for doors and tailgates represents the force angle curve during opening and closing of the door or the tailgate. When the vehicle door is slammed, the closing speed and the closing force are measured. The closing energy is calculated from the measured values. The minimum closing speed or minimum closing energy can be determined in an iterative measuring process. If the ajar vehicle door or tailgate is pushed to shut, the static closing force is measured. All of these measuring tasks are already pre-programmed in the Battenberg measuring robot system and can be parameterized depending on individual specifications. In the course of the webinar, I will show you how easily the existing program modules can be modified and new measurement tasks can be programmed. How did Battenberg set up the measuring robotic test cell for vehicle doors and tailgates? Each test cell must be surrounded by safety walls or safety light curtains. No one is allowed to be in the safety zone during the measurements. Battenberg has partially automated the test sequence in order to be able to test in short time as many vehicles as possible. If it is structurally possible, then the ideal test cell consists of two safety light curtains opposite one another, a workstation for the worker and two solid walls. The test vehicles should be able to drive through the safety light grids. The Battenberg test robot is positioned next to the vehicle test area on a specially manufactured platform. Gauges to allow checking the measurement capability of the system are positioned on the test platform. Basically, Battenberg offers two types of robots for indoor inspection. If both vehicle doors and tailgates or bonnets are to be checked, the robot type TX200L from Staubli is recommended due to its long arm length of 259 centimeters. Alternatively, the robot type TX2160L from Staubli can also be used. Its arm length is only 201 centimeters and is therefore mostly unsuitable for testing of tailgates and bonnets. 
the TX200L has a load capacity of 800 Newton. While the TXT160L only has a load capacity of 250 Newton. The force torque sensor is integrated in the multifunction tool. Both are located on the flange of the robot arm. Battenberg recommends a triple calibrated sensor as suitable for checking the door quality. In the lower calibration, we usually choose 495 Newton, 15 Newton meter. The middle calibration can be selected with 660 Newton, 60 Newton meter, and the upper calibration with 990 Newton, 90 Newton meter. The special Battenberg multifunction tool for testing vehicle doors and tailgates is located below the sensor. There are up to four special tools on the multifunction tool the hook with a roller to unlock the door handle. The tool with the suction cup can be used to couple the tool with the door in order to open it. The disc tool pushes vehicle doors or tailgates shut. The hook tool actuates buttons to open a tailgate. The tools can be changed at any time. To save time and maintain precision, we recommend using manual tool changing systems. A laser profile sensor with a high sampling rate is required to measure the door angle. Battenberg attached the sensor to a rollable tripod. A special positioning aid can be used for optimum positioning at the gap between door and front fender. An inertial sensor is attached to the tailgate to measure the opening angle of the tailgate. Assuming that the door and tailgate tests have already been programmed for a vehicle type, how does the door tests work? The process consists of two phases. In phase one, the test vehicle is driven in front of the measuring robot. Vehicle positioning accuracy within 5 to 10 centimeters is completely sufficient. The laser profile sensor is set up and the markers are attached along visible edges at specified locations. Then the worker leaves the test cell. In phase two, the worker starts the robotic measurement process. After the test is finished, the measurement graph is displayed. The measurement results can be compared immediately with the specifications. The report can also be generated per measurement or per vehicle. Pass or fail decisions can also be made automatically. Let's take a step-by-step -step look at the process. After the test vehicle has been driven up, special manufactured marks are attached along defined edges or points around the door handle. The marks are adhesive, which means that they only adhere to the surface and can be removed without leaving any residue. In step two, the laser profile sensor is set up with the positioning aid. Markings are embedded in the positioning aid, which indicate the exact position in relation to the door gap. The positioning aid is removed and the worker leaves the test cell. The measurement is now started. First, the camera searches for the markers around the door handle and aligns the laser sensor with the markers. The laser sensor measures the distance between the laser and the marker. Laser and robot are calibrated by Battenberg in a proprietary process. With the help of the distance and the known position of the laser in the robot coordinate system, the XYZ coordinates of the markers in the robot coordinate systems are now determined. This means that the position of the test vehicle door handle in the robot coordinate system is known. Based on the learned position of the markers, the robot can determine the starting positions for its tests. The Battenberg software for programming all robot movements, measuring actions, analyzes and evaluations is called Robflow. The current version is 2.6. Robflow is a graphical programming setting in which all actions can be parameterized. The actions are linked one after the other to form test sequences. The measurement results can be viewed immediately after the measurement has been completed. So-called characteristic values, such as maximum and minimum turning points or average values, are obtained from the raw data of the measurements. These characteristic values can be exported as ASCII files, XML or Microsoft Excel files. 
If measurements are processed regularly, it is advisable to set up a report form. Battenberg programs reports in the scientific software Origin. Origin is used worldwide for data analysis and graphical data presentation. The Robflow interface to Origin is called Rob Report. Data available in Robflow can be exported and presented in Origin reports. The target specifications for the measurements can already be stored in Robflow. Pass fail decisions can be made by comparing the target and measured values. These can be displayed in the report together with all measured values and measurement graphs. After I introduce you to the basic structure of the test cell and the measurement processes, I will now explain individual measurement tasks in detail. During the opening process, the unlocking force is determined by measuring the force displacement curve. To do this, the robot moves to the middle marker. The robot tool touches this marker with minimal force in order to double check the vehicle's position. The padded roll will not cause any damage to the vehicle. After touching it, the robot aligns the tool parallel to the door handle. This step is necessary because it makes it easier for the tool to move into the recessed grip. The upper edge of the door handle is then touched by the tool. The programmer determined the exact position to apply the force in advance. The tool is positioned at these coordinates and the force is applied until the door is unlocked. The graph clearly shows the swelling force required to open the door. Here you can see that the vehicle door is first snapped into a first position and then opened. The next measurement task is to determine the force versus opening angle characteristics curve for doors. It shows the force versus door angle curve during opening and closing of the door or the tailgate. First of all, the test robot has to learn the door's path of movement. The unlocked door is therefore taken by the suction tool with the help of compressed air. The robot is pulling the door force controlled to open it and bring the door back into the starting position. Thanks to the fixed coupling between the door and the suction tool, the robot can open the door and always align the tool perpendicular to the door surface. This teaches in the trajectory for opening the door. After the door opening path has been taught in, the measurements can begin at increased speed. For the measurement, the Battenberg test robot suction tool now takes the vehicle door. The robot opens the vehicle door at a specified speed. The laser profile sensor tracks the door opening and measures the door angle. As a result of the measurement, the door force versus opening angle characteristic curve is shown. To measure the closing speed and the closing force, the door is slammed. The closing energy is calculated from the measured values. After the robot has opened the door, it applies a specified energy into the door and pushes it. This will either cause the door to lock or not. The speed curve of the closing door is recorded with the laser profile sensor. Variables, such as the closing speed at a certain door opening angle, will be visible in the speed curve. 
The laser profile sensor can also be used to determine whether or not the door was closed completely after slamming. The minimum closing speed or minimum closing energy is determined in an iterative measuring process. By repeating and successfully changing the applied energy, the minimum energy at which the door just closes completely can be measured. This is the minimum closing energy. The minimum closing speed can be determined from the speed curve of the door. As the last measurement, I would like to introduce you to the measurement of the statically measured door closing force. The test robot uses the disc tool for this measurement and applies force to the door or tailgate until it is pressed into the lock. To determine the minimum force that is necessary for this, many measurements in a step-by-step -step increase in force must be processed. To save time, Battenberg programmed these tests with binary search algorithms. Three measurements are carried out in a row. A measurement with minimal force, during which the door is not pushed shut. A measurement with high force, in which the door is securely closed. And a measurement with the medium force. Depending on whether the door was pushed shut during this last measurement or not, the statically closed door force to be measured must be above or below the medium force value. The new measurement range is thus determined and the process starts again. With this algorithm, the number of measurement cycles are reduced and the measurement time is shortened. At the end of our webinar, I would like to summarize the most important points. The Battenberg test cell for testing doors and tailgates enables quick and easy to use measurement processes. The test robot can be programmed by Battenberg or the user. The processes for new vehicle models can be adapted in a few hours only. The use of test robots eliminates the operator influence on the measurement results. This ensures a high level of reproducibility of all measurements at any time and location. The semi-automated processes save resources such as time and man hours. The time-consuming calibration of the robot in the vehicle coordinate system is no longer necessary because the Battenberg test robot learns its trajectories with minimal effort by the worker itself. And the last point, additional sensors can be integrated into the test system at any time. The system can be used both in the laboratory and in production-related testing. Thank you for your attention.